I'm Jack Fawcett, and welcome to this demo and review of the DCW Pedals ODR Mod Deluxe Overdrive. So this is a hand-wired overdrive based on the Nobel's Overdrive, which is a green pedal that kind of looks like a Tube Screamer, but I think is often mislabeled as like a Tube Screamer clone. It's really a different thing. It's a very transparent overdrive, but to my ear with a little bit more of a squishiness, it's not like a clone. It's a, it's a different kind of sound, but it's still very transparent, which goes to show you that the word transparent might be thrown around a little bit more than it should in the overdrive world. Anyway, I digress. It has two sides to it. You can get this in a single pedal. This one is the deluxe version. You can also just get the DCW ODR mod, which would be just the, the basic ODR kind of clone. This one also has a boost, and what's really cool is you can actually switch the order of whether you want the boost or the overdrive first. So if you put the boost second, it gives you more of a loud solo boost. If you put the boost first, it kind of pushes a little more gain into the overdrive. That's basically the rundown of it. The controls you have are bass, gain, spectrum, which is kind of like your tone, and volume, and your boost. Now, bass and spectrum work very well together. And I found that this pedal likes to be run slightly on the darker side. I found that it kind of likes it a little bit if you push the pull the spectrum back a little bit and push the bass a little. Now it's not the gainiest pedal in the world. It's a mild mid-level overdrive. So I found that it also likes more gain. One of the cool things about that is there's some pedals that when you push the gain it just sounds grainy. A lot of overdrive pedals really want you to push the volume more and use them at least as much as a boost as an overdrive. This one I really, really liked just using as an overdrive without even necessarily pushing a ton of volume. Any overdrive, you want to have it at least unity gain. I mean, that's that's pretty kind of overdrive 101. But this one I found it liked the gain knob. It didn't necessarily need to be just like 
so many people sort of feel like the only way you can ever use an overdrive is to just boost an already pushed amp and and it's hard to push a tube amp it, even a low wattage one it gets loud and it gets unruly so i like pedals like this that can give you more of their own character without needing the amp to be at a certain spot that being said it works well as a boost too because it's an overdrive pedal the bass and the spectrum i'll play with them back and forth as you've just heard i'm going to do another clip coming up with humbuckers they just work kind of uniquely, a little bit differently than you would expect just a basic tone knob or a basic EQ stack to work on an overdrive pedal. I really, really like this pedal. It has a very, very pleasant, kind of like a, it kind of like a professional sounding overdrive is, is the best way I could describe it. You know, it's like the, the Tube Screamer is kind of the blues overdrive. The Klon is the one for people who like overdrive but don't like pedals but secretly do like pedals. This is for like the pro. This is like, a, this is a professional overdrive. If you get this pedal, you're a pro. But seriously, there's something about it that's it's a more refined sound. It's not a ton of, you know, ooey gooey, drivey, saturated, uh, or you know, it just sounds good. It sounds professional. It sound it has a nice little bit of compression to it that just kind of smooths out your tone. And I, I like the way that it interacts. So for this demo, you've just heard it with a Fender Stratocaster loaded with Lust for Tone Monterey pickups. Next, going to play it with a Gibson SG Standard loaded with Lust for Tone 61 Lust Buckers, playing into a Franklin Amps 5E3. Let us know what you think of in the comments. Have you played the Nobles pedal? What do you think of this one? I really, really like the boost function. Uh, that kind of gives it, makes it more of a, a one-stop shop, you know, for or like if you, you can just kind of bring one pedal instead of needing to bring a whole pedal board. I like the way that it interacts with the amp. I like the way that it interacts with different sets of pickups. Let us know what you think in the comments. I'm Jack Fawcett. Check out the DCW ODR Mod Deluxe, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.